We were looking at some showers across our region earlier this morning, and we'll continue to see showers into the afternoon hours for today and later this evening. So right now across our area, we, we are fighting some dry air, at least when we, those showers encountered Rochester in the last half hour. Notice on off towards our east, towards the I-90 corridor into northeast Iowa near Winnesheet County and into Houston and Alamakee. They're seeing some showers too throughout the morning hours, at least here radar indicated into, into Decora. So we did see some rain here on the weather patio and we are going to have a low pressure system that's centered off in Nebraska near North Platte continue to move a little bit more eastward. And as that, as that moves east, we're going to see these showers off towards Peoria and in Illinois kind of filter on in slowly through our region, mainly around the I-90 corridor, I think in north really later this morning into the afternoon hours before we see a gap. Temperatures right now across the region because of that rainfall we've been seeing and because of the cloudy conditions, we have temperatures into the 40s. That might be a little bit deceiving, thinking, oh, it's a little bit warmer, more mild outside. Well, we have, do have wind speeds and gusts that are peaking into the 30s all across the tri-state area, into the 20s there in Red Wing and Winona. And we do have sustained winds into the 20s for really 20 miles per hour across much of southeastern Minnesota for us. So we could be seeing uh, wind chill temperatures this morning, wind chills values into the 30s for us being making it a little bit cooler out there. Our winds are going to continue to be an issue really throughout the, the day today. We'll be peaking around 30 miles per hour there in the next two out, next few hours and we'll continue to see a gradual decrease, but I wouldn't be a surprise if we saw gusts into the mid to upper 30s, potentially peaking into the lower 40s if we get some strong gusts in there for today. So future track tracking this out for you this morning. They have as temperatures into the 40s into the upper 30s across our area. Notice how we go through the later morning hours and start to pick up more moisture and more rainfall across pretty much the I-90 corridor and a little bit there into southeastern Minnesota. We'll continue to be a little bit wet until the af later afternoon hours when we dry out. This is going to be the gap we see between the first uh, area of rainfall, first line of showers, and before we get more coming to our region, pretty much around the I-35 and western portions of I-90 for some, some maybe more moderate rain showers into Steele County there into this afternoon or Dodge County this afternoon. We'll continue to have showers really moving through Monday morning a little bit here for more stray conditions that will be drying out primarily, maybe a few spots of some sprinkles for tomorrow into the morning hours, but notice all this cloud coverage is just hanging out around here before we start to clear out and the temperatures into the 50s by tomorrow evening. So rainfall for today will continue to see some rain into the later morning hours into the afternoon and pretty much all throughout the day today. Our rainfall forecast is having about half an inch to a quarter inch, inch of rain across our viewing area for today. But we'll have continue to see those showers and some gusty winds potentially into the 40s while temperatures will be consistently into the 40s here into southeastern Minnesota in Rochester. Partial eclipse for tomorrow starts around 1248 and it's going to last for about two hours and 30 minutes. We're about to see a 78 percent obscursion in terms of that moon covering the sun. So it's a good amount. Now I do think we're going to be cloudy for the majority of the day for tomorrow. Potentially we could see some gaps in the clouds. So viewing conditions might not be great for to see that partial eclipse, but really other than that, throughout this week, we're going to continue to dry out, see more sunshine, and potentially see some stray showers on Thursday. All right. I know you're going on assignment for the eclipse. How is it going to be looking for you? So I'm going to be going to Cleveland about 20 minutes down the road where I grew up at a small baseball stadium. Mm -hmm. Cloud cover is clearing off towards the western portions okay. of Ohio. But where I'm going to be, it's a 40 50% chance or in terms of that cloud coverage. So okay. that's better than being completely overcast. Like mostly here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, good. That'll be very exciting. Yeah, I'm very excited to go. I'll be doing a Facebook Live for everyone. Yeah. Just show what conditions are like. Some cool coverage. Thanks, yeah. David.